Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here, and thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be working on the Peacock um, frayed uh, fabric and toile fabric for my prompts. Um, didn't get finished on the last video, so I thought I would just go ahead and do a, another one. Um, normally I would do Roxy uh, uh, Challenge on this one with uh, Taddy Treasure's um, inspiration, but... I think number six is basically I I did. It was those um, envelopes that we, the window envelopes, and um, I went ahead and, and uh, decorated it. So that's what number six was, is the decorating of those env envelopes. So I'm gonna skip that today, and um, that'll give me time to catch up on this, the prompts. Um, I have a shout out today. Um, the first one is The Crafty Corner. And um, I went over to her channel. I'll try to link her um, in my description. Um, she's fairly new, I think. Uh, she has like 187 subscribers. So if anybody wants to go and take a look at her uh, videos, uh, the one I watched, she was doing a craft haul. Uh, a, um, I'm sorry, a, um, oh my gosh, a thrift store haul. Uh, boy, and she got some great prices. I don't know where she lives, but I wish I did. Um, and then the other one is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It looks like Heisen's. Um, and she usually just leaves me, um, hearts and things like that because I think, I don't know that she speaks English, but, um, it's, I'm thinking she may be Chinese. Uh, and I, do, I don't recognize the the language that well so anyway um i just wanted to say hi to her and i don't know if she will understand me or or not but i want to give her her recognition um so thank you very much you guys for your support and your comments okay so i guess that's it for today i am planning to go to my uh quilting bee this well i was supposed to go this morning but I'm going to be late because I'm going to do this. Okay, so what I've done here is covered all of this with the um, napkin that I had. I put some washi tape over here to cover an area that the napkin didn't cover all the way. Then I put some of this green um, tissue paper leaves on this one. And then I did the peacock on this side. And on this side, I took the leftovers and just kind of reversed them so that they kind of have that, um, just the feathers on the, the back. And then inside, you saw this. We have it, um, you know, just like that. So, um, and then I was trying to uh, uh, clo put a closure. So I tried maybe putting circles here and then, you know, having something go that way, but it would be kind of hard to open it. Um, and then this is kind of thick, and if I put ephemera in this, it's going to be even thicker. So I did find this paper clip that I was gifted from Alicia, and it matches it pretty well. So I think I had it on there all the way. And it's enough to keep it closed, and I like that copper color with it, so I'm going to go with that for the closure. Okay, um, I found this. Um, sticker that I think I got these from AliExpress um, and the the blue in this you know ties over to this so I'm gonna put the sticker on let's see am I gonna do that first because I want to sew around here um, I don't think it'll be in the way of sewing I'm just gonna stick it on here just because it um, it's the right colors. Okay, this is, I don't know if I use tape if this will work on, that's not very strong. I use tape on, um, washi, but this is not washi. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. That helps so much to get your stickers off. Alrighty, now it's all in the matter of getting it straight. Hold on, let me get a... Oops. 
something with lines on it. I'm not sure where I want to put it. Let's see. Kind of in the center. There are lines. Okay, let's see. I like that. Looks cute. Okay, so here we go. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use for ephemera in here because uh, I can't, I haven't got that far. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to sew around all this and then I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm at my sew machine. I have a new cam. Uh, a new tripod and um, I thought that way maybe you can see me sew. Um, so let's see what do I want to sew around. Um, I want to go around all this and I don't know if I want to go across here or not. I think I just want to go across the bottom. Yeah okay. So I'm going to, I have blue thread up here and I'm going to change my uh, machine to zigzag. And of course, we've got to push all these extra buttons. Okay, and then I've got to go down here to a little smaller zigzag because I don't like it huge. All right, so um, oh, it kicked off on me because I forgot to put it on... Um, what do you call it? I'm sewing this because it has fabric on it. Um, which definitely, I mean, I would sew around it anyway, probably, but I, I think it'll make sure that the fabric stays stuck. So if you don't want to watch the sewing, you can always fast forward this. Um, some people enjoy it, some people don't. My machine stops with the needle down. So um, I don't lose my spot, I guess the word is. have to check and make sure I need if I need one more stitch <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I do. okay and then when I get to the end I have a button on here I don't know if you can see it or not but it's a little um and it makes a like a back stitch but it's not going back and forth it just stitches in the same spot okay and then um, my thread uh, that I have left over goes on this little thing like this you can see that it's just a piece of batting that I wrapped around this spool um, you could use a cup or plastic anything and just put some batting in that way when you throw your thread over it's I'll show you here so let's say you've got you've just cut your thread you can just throw it and it'll stay there and you won't have threads all over and then when you get done you can you know after a few times you can clean it off okay so we'll stop right there and I'll go back to the okay, other time back hopefully that um, was okay for you to watch 
be sewing this, but a um, few people have asked in the past, and I just never had a, a tripod that would work. So I just got that tripod, and it works. It, I wished I could get it like at that 360 degree. Um, I think I already inked all that. Um, turn where I could turn my camera, I mean my phone around in, and it, I could move it all around to get where I want it to go. Because I kind of thought I could just sit this, sit it up here above me and just move the, the whole thing over to my sew machine, but I don't think I can, so I'm going to leave it where it is right at the moment. Okay, I think I'm going to punch um, some little divots in there to give a little bit of character. Okay, so that one is three, so let's do one and a half. Right there. It doesn't look right. From there to there. No, it's not quite three, that's why. That's two and three quarters, so that would be... Would be like a one and is that a quarter there? I think I don't know. It's right there. No, nope, that's not the same. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. Can't be one and a half from here to here. Okay, I think it's there. Gosh. Sometimes you just need to eyeball things, really. I always use this punch, and it's, I should have known that. I was going to do it before I put it in here. But I, I don't like a real, like, deep divot. I just kind of like it to show, but not, you know, like a big half a circle. This one is four, so that should be easy. I don't know how this became such a project. It's supposed to be some ephemera. Okay. Now, what was I gonna do? So that, because I sewed it, is now kind of like lumpy. Probably could have sewed this. I had black in my machine. I probably could have done it with black. Okay. So out here, I want to put my frayed... Um, Sorry, Silk, that I got from Patty. So I don't want to cover up the peacock. So I'm just going to glue down this and stick it on, wrinkle or no wrinkles. Oh, I haven't had this open for a while. My goodness. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it on there like that. It'll take a while for that to dry up. I don't think that glue is gonna show through. I hope not, because it's. I hope not. Okay. Whoop. It's not going to rip. Oh. 
This works so well, Patty. Thank you. I want to use that still for uh, something else. I haven't thought about maybe doing a boho journal. Okay. I guess that's not over. Let me just use some. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my lid on this glue. I know I cleaned it all out, you know, to get the glue stuck that's stuck inside the cap. But I think it really needs to be soaked. Because it, it's like, I don't know what it's gluing to. I might cut those shorter. I just like to leave them a little bit longer before I do decide what to do. Because I don't know if that looks good or not. All right. So I'm going to put those little corners on. I... I am not sure where I got these, but I think at Hobby Lobby. And I have these corners that I bought uh, at Hobby Lobby, but they're um, they're too loose for these pages. They need to be like this one is a lot smaller. but I just felt like this needed something. So let me, I'm just gonna put a little of this glue right here. I'll probably have my head in the camera. Come on, there we go. And squeeze it just tab. I don't like to mar them up. That's fine. Okay, and so that and I'm just trying to decide whether I want to put it on all the corners. Well, sometimes your corners are not straight. So, they look a little wonky at times. Okay, so, um, I think I'll put them on the bottom too. Might as well. harder to do but see they would probably start ripping I would have used fabric tack, but I would never get it in here without getting fabric tack all over my page. Okay, so there's that. All right. So I kind of don't like 
this in here, but I didn't think that I wanted to put this in here. It just doesn't do anything for it. It looks good this way, but once you open it, it's kind of not the same uh, feel. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure what what to do. Gosh, I almost could sew in a little. I didn't put a spine in this. If I'd done this and put a spine, I could have made a little journal. Hmm. I don't know that I want a spine. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so um, I need tags, and I don't know what I have for, and I thought maybe something here, but I don't know what. So let me look at tags, see if I have anything that, it's probably too high. I may have to just go ahead and make tags for this. These just look too dinky, tiny, aren't they? Okay, that's okay that size, but. Alrighty, well, I have a feeling not. Well, no, let's see over these brown ones up there, too. I can cut my own out of. No, those are tall. I can, I can cut them down, obviously. Alright, so. would have been kind of pretty in there. Yeah, that's too wide, too tall. I don't know, I might be able to cut off a little at the bottom and a little at the top. All right, you guys, you don't want to see me go through every single thing, so I'm not. I I am going to, um, I'm going to put a little glue right here, just keep these pockets separated. Just put a little bit up at the tops of them. I would love to find another something to put in here, but maybe a label out here. Um, I may find something to put across there too. All right. Um, let me just look at labels really quick. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, because like a flower, I don't think would do it justice. Um, I could put another butterfly up there. I just don't think I have any labels that are bright and cheerful. It's just... I need to put the clip on it. I don't know what this is exactly. This is just a design. That green one wouldn't be bad. Here's a longer one. blue one. That looks kind of good. Kind of. Too big. These are probably Tracy Fox labels, I think. I like this. I wished I could find something that's like tiny like that. With that design. Almost to the end, I just was looking for that same design, only smaller, and I, I can't cut it down. Oh. And my time's up. Yeah, okay. Oh. Seems like I had that in other sizes. Seems like I did. I have a bigger one. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Okay. Nope. Um, okay, so it's between green. the blue. Yeah, I do. The blue. Okay, let me just ink this up a little bit. And then you can label it whatever you want, right? So if you're using it for, for a certain reason, When I was little, they had peacocks um, at Knoxbury Farm. I used to live really close to there. And um, we just go over there and look at the peacocks. They're just amazing. They're kind of scary though. They do kind of, I think they would chase you if they could have got out to do it. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this. I, I don't know, There's, I need something else and I don't know what. But, you know, when I go to put it in something, I will try to figure it out. 
I feel like I have other peacock things. I don't know. I don't want to download a, a digital for a couple of tags. So I might have something already that has them and I just never printed them. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. And um, I will be back uh, soon in my next video. Bye.